Hey, hey guys. <laughs> and cut. You got it. Right. Hey guys, Dave here from Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds, hanging out with some of my esteemed colleagues. I'm Ryan. I'm Ted. And today we're going to do another GM 911. Uh, today we have uh, what was, who, 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 Zachary, Zachary Taylor. Taylor. Zachary yeah. Taylor. And the case of the annoying ranger. Oh, uh, he's uh, a drow elf. He fights with two scimitars. And he has what a can panther. Be, yeah. Already, I'm annoyed to help. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. murder him. Yeah. No, uh, so the problem appears to be that he's very insistent about what other people should do with their characters and their backstory, which that would that would kind of annoy me, too. So yep. we're suffering from ranger danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other part is he's... he's uh, it sounds like he's kind of... a. Uh, a bit of a spotlight hog with you know too much description it's over de- over descriptive on all of his actions mm-hmm. in in combat. So you know there, there's two different two different points here. You know the the players ha- you know he he wound up missing a session and the players were literally talking in game about killing him because out of game the character's annoying. Well, no, um, and in game. Well, I, I, yeah, I guess more. I don't it think, is more so I don't think yeah. killing the character in game will help. Maybe out of game. Mm. Killing the player might yeah. <laughs> alleviate so, the problem. I, I, I don't know to what degree his um, his combat descriptiveness is. As a player, I feel it's actually encouraging. When a, when a player is describing what they're doing in combat, it adds more to the excitement. It adds more to the encounter. Well, it, it takes it away from a, I rolled an 18. I hit. I deal seven points of damage. Like, you know, it makes it less uh, systematic. Right. So, mm. so if you're... You know, Robotron style yeah, of gaming. Yeah, yeah. You know, so so if you're if you're offering up a sentence or two about how you're trying to deliver your attack, I'm cool with that, and I I, I in fact encourage it for you know any and all players at the table now, because you, it, it becomes a game of battleship. Otherwise, if if you're yeah. going to issue a dissertation on what you're doing for the round, well, that's going to slow slow up combat and stop the enjoyment for everybody. So. As as a player tip, be descriptive, but keep it brief. Um, Can you say what you did in two sentences? Right, yeah. well, one or two sentences is more than enough to you what know do you think? To, thirty to sixty seconds is yeah. more than enough. Right, right. Uh, I yeah. would say thirty seconds is is, is you know should be your twenty. Your yeah, limit. twenty. Cut it. Just keep cutting. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. <laughs> think seven. Seven. Can you think it really loud? I stab him. I stab him. Seven minutes. <laughs> so, seven to seconds. So, seven seconds. Seven so with with, with uh. You know, with with that that part, you know, if 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 he's only doing short descriptions, well, then maybe try to encourage the other players to to do the same thing, and and get in, get enjoyment out of it that way. You know, maybe start having you know your descriptions of what the NPCs are doing during combat, and maybe that'll you know you know settle things down a little bit. I, and it, this is like an out of game solution. You just talk to player. It's like, look, just like on your turn, your turns take five times longer than anybody else's because of that. <laughs> I don't I, know if you know I have a pre- or not. Yeah, I, and it's like, look, I appreciate what you're doing. It adds something to the game, but could you cut it down by X amount of time or whatever? Limit, you know? limit it to 20, 30 seconds. Right. Yeah. Um, and as far as, you know, the, the the character talking out of game and trying to change or alter people's backstories, you know, that's... Just no. That's just a no. <laughs> no. You, you a, a player can, you know, offer things up, but if, if the other players are really not liking what's being said, that's got to get curta- curtailed. So I think all of this could could be resolved with a, with a simple conversation away from everyone else, you know, figure out what it, what your best best method of contact is with them. Do it non confrontational. This, this should be a conversation, like not even by text, because by you know, if you're writing, you say if you're you know a text message or an email, words can be misinterpreted because there's no like connotations yeah, you, of you emotion. Don't, you don't you don't have that. But you know, if they only communicate at the table or you know via, via email. You know, then this is a phone call or a face-to-face conversation. Okay. Yeah. You know, like personally, and like, yeah, you as the player have absolute say and authority of over what your character is doing. Mm-hmm. You know, unless you're being mind controlled or whatever, because you know this is a few. It's magic. <laughs> it's D and D. So yeah, you have say so over your character. That does not give you the right to intrude a, again. Mind control aside, uh, from the c- controlling the actions of other players. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, like. 
It'd be, it'd be a little immature, but you know the other players could re, could iterate how annoying it is yeah. if they all constantly did it to him. Mm. You know, for a <laughs> no, oh yeah, yeah, they could. That you could just like show, and then by the end of the session, did you not like how we did that? Did you get? Did you get it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, as far as the timing thing in combat, if you wanted to be kind of non-confrontational about it. Put the egg timer out, you know. Find, you know, get a timer for thirty seconds. Be like, look, I'm gonna. I, the combats are taking too long. I want to implement this new rule. You know, each of you have this amount of time on your turn. If you don't go, you lose your turn. Mm, yeah. if, you, if you don't get it finished. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then, then you, then you just described what you started for your next turn. Yeah. And then it's an awesome way to know when your pizza rolls are ready. You know, <laughs> yeah. So that, that all right, I'm going to go get some pizza your rolls. Your turn is over, and I'm getting my pizza <laughs> yeah. rolls. There you go. So that um, that would be a non-confrontational way and, and not singling out one player. That's true. But, like, I mean, if, if it is one one player. Um, single you know, them out? I, I, well, I mean, not single, Everyone single them out. Them? But have, it, have a conversation away from everyone else. Like, you don't want to pull them aside and talk to them when when everyone else is at the table. It's it's a lone conversation that needs to happen away from, you know, prying ears and eyes so that you know, everyone can save face and you know, you don't need to say, "Oh, by the way, the rest of the players want to, you know, want to kill you or want to kill your character." It's just, you know, it's it's there and it needs to be dealt with. I think what Ted's trying to say is you can address this without being a dick. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you don't want to be an asshole. You don't want to be a, you know, uh, a, a, you know, you don't want to be confront con- confrontational. Confrontational. You, you want to just be like, look, here's the situation. Everybody at the table wants to have fun, and you're detracting from the fun because of these these two reasons. This is a DC five or ten diplomacy check that you have to make. Yeah, yeah. And you, you can even like pull them aside when you have this conversation. You don't have to be like, "Well, you're driving everyone crazy at the table, or everyone hates your guts." You can just be like, "Look, this is something I've observed." Mm. Blah, blah blah. I've noticed. You, you, yeah. you just say you've noticed it, and it's taking away from the enjoyment by everybody. You know? mm. pretty much. Yeah. Although I kind of like the idea of everyone ganging up on for a session and doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. But I'm kind of an asshole sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Actually, your mentor had blue eyes. No, they were purple. They were yeah. pink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One didn't have pink, eyes one at all. blue, yeah. yeah. He's didn't blind. Have eyes at all. He's blind, yeah. 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 yeah, so, yeah, most of this is just an, an out-of-game solution. You, you just really have to talk. Mo- yeah, I, I feel like a lot of our GM 911s can be resolved if people just talk to each other and yeah. be like, look, this is the deal. Uh, and it depends on your group and how long you've been gaming together, how well you know each other. Right. So, so like you, you have answers that we don't. Like you, you know, depending on how well you know this person, you kind of know how they're going to respond. Right. Mm. Yeah. You know, which, if you know, and again, like, it, how worried are you of like preserving the friendship if that existed prior to the game? Type yeah. Of thing, you know? and, and and then like that will also determine how you do things. Like if you know they're not going to respond well to the critique in combat, then you just implement the, the, the time, time limit. Right. If you can find, like, a short hour, an hourglass that, like, turns really quick or whatever, like, you know, that would tell the Yeah, 30 you, se- a 30-second, you know, hour, you know, sand timer. Yeah, yeah, because an hourglass sounds like a misnomer when you say, yeah. like, wait, that was nowhere near an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you're giving this guy all the time he wants in the world now to talk. It's like, wait, I get an hour? All oh, right. this is fantastic. Yeah, I now I can do this right for a change. Yeah, right, because <laughs> you guys have been doing it all wrong. All right. So I slowly unsheath my sword. I wrap my fingers around the, the, the grip of the weapon, turning it in my hand. 45 degrees. 45, not 47 degrees. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then God. I slash in slowly. But then he, he, he faints back. And then I slash across again. Yeah, and then it's just like he's just written a, a, a fight scene. Complete. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So, Jordan getting fresh, style, get, getting frustrated at him already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, You're I'm, out. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to punch you. I'll now show you the asshole approach to <laughs> d- dealing with this at your table. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, brotherly love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't roll dice like my brother. Don't roll by, dice like my brother. So hopefully we've covered this for you. In the comments below, any suggestions you guys have, why don't you drop them down there? While you're at it, like, uh, subscribe, and share. You can uh, find us over on Facebook, or you can join the conversation over on Reddit. Until next time, stay stay nerdy. nerdy.